Hello, hello, Sun Drops. Welcome to another episode of Dropping Into Happiness. We are your hosts. I am Rachel. And I'm Maggie. For those that are not watching on YouTube, Maggie's like acting out my part right now. It's <laughs> all... <laughs> Welcome into Dropping Into Happiness. We are your hosts. I'm Rachel. <laughs> If I feel like ever... other sun drops out there are doing the exact same thing. They just you have never to. Know. If they we ever start that one day and you said it, they'd be like, what's happening? What's right. Happening I'm pretty right sure now? mass mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, Sun Drops. Hello to another Wednesday. This is uh, Wednesday, May 10th, episode 69. We are one away from episode 70. Oh, my gosh. We still, if anybody has any ideas for us, because we have a few weeks left uh, before we hit to our 100. If anybody has any uh, funny, uh, fun, any fun ideas. Wow. Uh, for our 100th episode, let us know. I'm very curious. I would love to kind of see what you guys have in mind for that. So that could be super duper fun. Well, we're going to jump right on into this one. Also, no announcements, nothing different, nothing going on. And uh, But this one, this week, I'm calling this one uh, Crock-Pot, Air Fryer, Instant Pot, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we should put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> <I know. laughs> put well, it in the merch store. <laughs> we had a listener, listener Christina E. Hi, Christina. I even reached out to her back on Instagram to let her know this episode will be coming out today. She messaged us and she literally said, can you guys just do an episode on your favorite recipes? You know, crock pot, air fryer. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys right now, we're not going to go down every single ingredient. However, I will put those on the blog post and uh, more than likely a link to the blog post for all of that because putting it all in the show notes might be a bit much but i'll put a link to all of those too especially if it's like because like my one of my recipes for the instant pot i found on pinterest so i'll put the link to that kind of thing so it'll be like that essentially so gonna be fun these are not big flamboyant meals y'all like these are things that maggie and i i know these are not like top <laughs> i just envisioned jazz hands <laughs> We, we are not top chefs over here. We are, these are just things that we've done. We've utilized. Uh, Maggie doesn't have an instant pot, but she has some of these other gadgets. So we're going to talk about gadgets and some of the recipes that we like to utilize in those things. So Maggie, out of all the, your kitchen gadgets, what do you think you use the most? Air fryer. Ah, okay. What do you make the most in your air fryer? <laughs> well, <laughs> Let me first of all, it. you, Every leftover you could possibly ever have is better in the air fryer than in the microwave. So if you I have the time that. and patience, put that in the air fryer and get you some air fryer liners. I did not know that these existed what? for the longest time. You can get them off Amazon and they're like little parchment paper liners you can put in the basket of your air fryer and it makes you have to clean it a lot less, which is a blessing. Um... So what I would do most, but what I would do most in the air fryer is little potatoes. So you get oh. you a russet potato, you chop it up in little cubes or however sh kind of shapes you want. Yeah. And then for an ideal texture, you're going to pop them in the microwave first for about four ah. or five minutes. Then you're going to spray those suckers with some olive oil spray or whatever kind of spray you want. And then I think avocado oil technically works, uh, av avocado oil spray works mm -hmm. the best in the air fryer because the air fryer right. gets so hot yeah. that like um, the spray kind of evaporates. Anyway, oh, so you use your spray and you can season it however you want. I'm a basic girly, so I do salt and pepper most often. <laughs> you can literally do whatever you want. Oh, um, Badia Complete Seasoning. An amazing seasoning. It's literally called oh. Complete. It's by the Badia brand. 10 out of 10. <laughs> recommend that seasoning. Nice. <laughs> so you put it on. You season it. Whatever. Then you throw it in the air fryer. 375. It's going to take about 15 minutes. You do want to toss them halfway. But it makes ah. the most delicious crispy little potatoes. And depending upon your serving. Two to four points if you're tracking on Weight Watchers. And they're just foolproof. You can make french fries that way. 
Um, mm-hmm. And the air fryer, 10 out of 10. So that's one of my go-tos, but I have more. So I'll let you go next. Well, but see, your air fryer is a basket. Mine has like racks in it because mine can also Ooh. do a rotisserie chicken. Oh, you bougie. I have the Ninja I... Foodie. So mine can air fry, roast, grill, dehydrate. Ooh. Like it's got a lot of little things. I don't really use it to its full potential. We mainly do the air fryer and the grill option. You know what's funny? I just remembered this. When I was looking to get an air fryer, first of all, I had the little white one uh, from WW, which was awesome, but it would make about maybe one to two servings. That's it. I have four people in my house, though. So we started looking at other ones to get a bigger one, and I was literally in a WW workshop. I was coaching a workshop, and at that time, because it was hot in the summer, I had moved into the living room, and I was facing the front door, and my husband walked in the front door with the big old box of air fryer and I was live in a workshop and I was dying. I was like, you guys, my husband just walked in with a brand new air fryer. Like I was losing it. It was so funny. But this one, because it has the rotisserie, you can also do a French fry basket in there. And so it like Mm. evenly does the French fry. So you don't have to turn them or shake them. Love that. That's so Um, amazing. So I'm going to tell you what is made most in my household in our air fryer. And then something that I've always wanted to make in my air fryer nuggies well i call them nuggies but we get these (laughs) um boneless buffalo wings from sam's club and legit because usually when things are breaded they can get kind of higher in points but the buffalo sauce is nothing the chicken is nothing so literally it's just the breading that's going to have points when you're when you're doing that uh and it's really not that bad in points especially if you're going to have it for if you have a meal that um because like usually my my last meal of the day is going to be my highest amount of points so usually if i do that have it with a side of maybe celery sticks and then if i do my greek yogurt ranch dip that has uh that -hmm. has no points because if i do one cup of greek yogurt to one package of ranch dressing makes the the most creamy ranch dressing you've ever tried all of that is zero points. So it's really easy. My kids love to make it, though. It's like a snack in the afternoon. They'll pop a few in there. Uh, it's at, I think we do at 400 for 15 minutes because I like the outside's a little crispy, but so good. But I had a member in WW Workshop one time say this. He gets, like, chicken breasts, and he would cut them down. So no skin, no breading, no nothing, mm-hmm. and would cut them down, and then he would marinate those in buffalo sauce because that's zero mm-hmm. points by the time you have the amount on it and he would air fry like naked nuggies yeah i know i still have yet to do that because then that would bring that whole thing down to zero points yeah i really want to do that i would love to do that as a meal prep yeah for, like, i've done meat. i've done chicken cut up in the air fryer like that also um and we'll even just do the like a uh, what's it called filleted <laughs> you know uh, when you filet? like no, um, <laughs> oh, like, like when that. you butterfly cut, you know, like ah, when you okay. cut the, so we'll do yeah. that. And then Seth will actually wrap it in a piece of like low fat cheese and a piece of uh, bacon. Ooh. Um, and he'll put it in the air fryer and just, we'll do chicken, you know, chicken, cheesy yeah. bacon. And that is <laughs> r- chicken, bacon, cheesy chicken. Um, and that's <laughs> really good. You can basically do any protein you want in the air fryer. Salmon is really good in the air fryer, frozen or fresh. You pop it in there, squeeze some lemon over it and some spray. Ooh. And, um, and what's really great is you can do like, your whole meal at once like depending on the size of your right? basket you could put a piece of protein in there you can put a, a potato so you can put some vegetables and just air fry all of it at once and dinner yeah. can be ready in like 15 minutes um another thing that i love to do in the air fryer are these little pizza roll-ups so you take a la banderita <laughs> carb counter tortilla and you take <laughs> for one point and you take some pizza sauce depending upon how much you use zero to one point you put it on the tortilla and then you put your little turkey pepperonis on there the hormel turkey pepperonis you can have up to 17 for two points so choose your destiny (laughs) put them on there a little bit of fat free cheese or like a laughing cow and then you roll it up like a little taquito and you put them in the air fryer and it's so freaking good. And it takes, like, just a few minutes. Um, that sounds awesome. Yeah, they're really good. And, oh, chicken nuggets, by the way. Members mark, like, from Sam's Club also, the Southern-style yeah. chicken mm-hmm. bites. Wait, Chick-fil-A have- dupe. Yes. Yes, because they almost yep. have, like, a little pickle flavor to it. My kids hated those, and I love them. Oh, <laughs> that's so sad because I love them. Yeah, put those in the yeah. air fryer. Those are freaking mm-hmm. good. Mom. Yep. 
So I any know. potato, any vegetable, literally like any protein. One. Mm-hmm. I've made also English muffin pizzas in the air oh. fryer or even two ingredient dough pizzas instead of putting it in the oven you can put it in the air fryer um, you can warm up your breakfast burritos in the air fryer you can make a breakfast sandwich in the air fryer you can My hard boil done, eggs yeah he's done the frozen burritos in the air fryer so like it has yeah. like a nice little almost crispy to the outside instead of being all soggy from the microwave yeah we use yep. the air fryer a lot you can yeah. put um you can do hard boiled eggs in the air fryer. Like there's so much you can do. Oh, see, it's... I'm an instant pot girl for my 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 hard boiled eggs. Oh, I pop them yeah. in there, one cup of water. I even have a little holder that holds all my eggs and just pop, like I just pop it on 10 minutes and I just walk away from it. I I love doing my eggs and, and especially when I'm meal prepping cuz I can literally walk away from it. I don't have to watch the water boil. I can just pop them in and when it's done, I just let it natural release. Um, yeah, so yeah. interesting. Uh, when just it comes to crock fire. pot, though, especially now that like, because it doesn't get the house hot, but I can still have hot food. So in the summertime, I might do some crock potty things. Probably our favorite one in the crock pot. And talking about liners, I want to say, my oh yeah, the crock pot liner game changer. Oh, totally, so mm-hmm. easy to find too. They're usually by like the foil and uh, parchment paper. It's right over there. Mm-hmm. And you just put it in there. So literally when you're done, you take that liner out, throw it away, and your crock pot's clean. Oh, my God. I love that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the, So probably one of my favorite ones. Another chicken recipe. Sorry for people who don't really care for chicken. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do some. Uh, I do my chicken breasts in there. Sometimes I'll cut them down into smaller pieces. Usually I can just stick the whole chicken breast in there. Remember I talked about G. Hughes, the sugar-free mm-hmm. barbecue sauce. So G, mm-hmm. the letter G. Hughes pour the whole bottle over it sometimes i'll add in uh sometimes especially depending on the kind of barbecue sauce i give us a sweeter one I'll, I'll sprinkle a little bit of uh brown sugar but then i'll also add red pepper flakes mm-hmm. and i i so i just make sure the chicken's totally covered and then i'll put it on low for eight hours i get home shred it up and it's all nice and coated and then i i put that bad boy on a bun and sometimes um sometimes instead of the barbecue sauce i'll do buffalo sauce so it's like it's like a buffalo chicken sandwich shredded chicken sandwich and i'll make the ranch as the sauce and everything so you could literally do you could do teriyaki if you wanted to you could do yeah the barbecue you can do any of those things but it makes the easiest shredded barbecue chicken sandwich have you know uh, pickle slices on the side if you want to sometimes we'll do with that like a potato salad oh my gosh it's so easy that's probably one of the fastest and easiest ones that my family likes it we can do that on repeat like every other week we could do one of those so easy yeah that sounds so mm-hmm. good <laughs> right. um two and for hungry. one <laughs> two for one in the crock pot um chicken again um is salsa chicken and then barbecue chicken so literally all you have to do Ooh. for this for the salsa chicken you put your chicken breast in um in the bottom of the uh, crock pot and mm-hmm. then you just pour a can of salsa or jar I should say of salsa in there put your lid on and you can either do high for four mm-hmm. hours low for eight and it makes yep. this delicious um, salsa chicken you take your shirt you know you shred it with a fork or what have you um, and then you can use that in so many different things you can put it in a bowl with rice and lettuce or just on top of a salad Ooh. you can put it in a wrap you can do yeah it's one of those like prep ag- prep ingredient kind of things mm-hmm. Um you can do the same technique instead with barbecue sauce. So you put your chicken in there and then you can do like the G Hughes, um, no sugar barbecue sauce or like, I like sweet baby Ray's no sugar barbecue Ooh, sauce. You I put it in Ray's. there. Um, and again, cook the chicken the same way and then you will shred it and you can use that again on a salad or with some rice or <laughs> yeah. in a wrap. And it's just like a really easy ingredient to prep that mm-hmm. you can use a lot of different ways. So 10 out of 10 recommend that and then um if you're not a chicken person i have a couple of crock pot recipes like i mentioned Mm -hmm. i don't have the instant pot um the five ingredient slow cooker chickpea tikka masala one point on weight watchers what and it is so flavorful and i just love crock pots because it is like a dump and go usually Mm -hmm. it's not very complicated um and that's and it makes big portions that you can then freeze Or, you know, if you have a big family to feed or whatever. So I Mm -hmm. love that, um, that recipe. And, um, let me make sure I share it with Rachel so she can put it in the show notes before I forget. Um, do you want to go again, Rachel? Do you have more? Cause I can keep rocking with the 
I know. <laughs> for a couple I know. Of I was so. well. So the the one other one that I really dug in my crock pot was this like rosemary chicken one that I did one time. That I got out of a WW because uh, remember I think I told you guys I have this one WW cookbook and literally all of the recipes are either instant pot, air fryer, or crock pot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was I've gotten so many recipes out of that one because especially on maybe days like today when I'm like, okay, I worked all day and then I'm coming home. We're going to record. I got some other things to do. And I know that's coming. I like to do meals like that. I'll prep it, get it going. So my household just has them ready to go. But like you said too, like those are great for prepping. Boom. Mm -hmm. Have them ready to go for the entire week and without like hardly any prep work to do. So I like that. Um, yeah. I know you said you have another, but I have, so for my instant pot, for anybody who has an instant pot out there, Probably one of my favorite things to make in my Instant Pot as the meal, other than, you know, my hard-boiled eggs, which I love. And I rice is so easy in the Instant Pot. Boom. W wash your rice, put it in there, put the water in there, hit the button that says rice, mm -hmm. <laughs> and let it go. But um, the one meal that I really, really like to do, and my kids actually really dig too, is the uh, jambalaya. I do mm. a, yeah, I do a andouille sausage and chicken jambalaya. Uh, every so often I'll do a shrimp, but I really like the, the, and it's so funny. I found it on Pinterest super long time ago. So it's going to have, you know, your rice, your celery, um, tomatoes, chicken, andouille sausage, all of that. And I remember I put all of the ingredients into the WW app and I calculated it to be about six points for one cup. Not terrible. That's really not a ton of points for mm -hmm. one cup of food. But I remember thinking, oh, I'll only get one cup for dinner because I didn't want to use 12 points for dinner. And I scooped my one cup and I looked in my bowl and I was like, dang, dude, that's a lot of food. Yeah. Like, it's a lot more food than you realize. And it's so funny because when I was on my app the other day, just trying to get some ideas for, for dinners for this week. And it came up and it was an andouille sausage, chicken jambalaya, not the same one that I have, but it was literally almost to the teen. It was six points per serving. So I was pretty proud of myself that I calculated that correctly. Yes. Yeah. Six points per serving. So I'm like, dude, I love that because then I don't mind having a six point lunch. Like that's not a bad right. amount of points for me. So I'm like, boom, if I have leftovers, cool. I have lunch for tomorrow. Now it has the spicy, you got the tomatoes. I add extra garlic. I usually add extra uh, celery just cause I want to add just that little extra kind of crunch and celery in there to it. My kids will tear it up. Like so mm. easy. You use the, um, the jambalaya seasoning to, if you want it a little bit spicier love it Oof, that one's really so good. good too yeah it's a really really good one so you said you had another what uh, you had another air fryer or crock pot yeah with um <laughs> two more crock pots and then i have one instapot that i've heard good things about that i would try ah. if i had an instapot so okay. actually i have three <laughs> slow cookers i'll just say it quick ww super easy slow cooker three bean chili Okay. Ooh, Again, yeah, it's chili. so easy, so low in points, mm -hmm. zero points. Um, I'm a chili girly. Um, Me too. And so then I also have a white chicken chili, a creamy white chicken chili to share with you all that I got from Cassie Joy Garcia. And um, and then the third one, this is like a WW classic, seven can taco soup. So you can actually do this in a pot on the stove, but I like to do it in the crock pot because you could just dump it in the morning and then it's ready when you get home. Um, but literally the ingredients is seven cans. So you get can of black beans, <laughs> can of pinto beans, can of diced tomatoes, can of sweet corn, and then a can of chicken breasts. You don't even have to do like fresh chicken Ooh. breasts. You can use the can. Yeah. Green enchilada sauce, low sodium chicken broth, one packet of taco seasoning, and then a couple of other seasonings and that's it. So super easy, very flavorful. You can serve it with some tortilla chips or crackers or just eat it nice. plain. Use some non-fat Greek yogurt for like a sour cream kind of substitute. Super, yeah. super delicious. And then one thing I would totally try if I had an, an Instant Pot, and maybe you can do it in the crock pot, um, but it was the Weight Watchers recipe for Instant Pot lasagna soup. Oh, that it sounds, sounds so good. good. So I just wanted to throw that out there for all of you that have an instant pot. You should try it. And let me know how it is. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no, so you good. said chili and I love me some chili, especially when it's cold. I'm like, boom, zero point chili. Cause I'll use my, you know, fat free Turkey. Yeah. Love it. But you know what gets me every time is the cornbread. 
I love Oof. honey cornbread and I cannot help myself. And I swear one actual like regular muffin size of like honey cornbread, I swear is like 12 points or something yeah. crazy. And so I make the mini ones thinking that I'm going to be like, cool, I can have three and it's only nine points or something. Yeah, dude, I can't. I, I <sighs> love them so much. They're so good. I know you like the honey, but WW Pound Dropper has a jalapeno cornbread recipe. <sighs> Mm. Um, but my parents have made those so many times. Like every time I'm home, I feel like we have the cornbread muffins. Um, yeah. and they're very low in point. So if you like a jalapeno flavor, um, I I've think it has slowly corn grown in it, into it. Yeah, I've slowly yeah. grown into that. I mean, they say your taste buds change every seven years. It really, I, I oh. really think that's true. Yeah, because man, when Makes I sense. was. When I was younger, I there's no way I would have done broccoli, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, and I love all of those now. I hated tomatoes with an absolute passion. Love me some tomatoes now. Like it's I don't I don't know if it's just I was I was a kid, so I was like, "Ew, it's good for me, gross." And I just refused to try it, and I was just already had it in my head that I was going to hate it. But now that I'm an adult, and especially with WW and wanting to explore food more, I think I've tried so many more things and have been really pleasantly surprised from the things that I've actually really dug. Like, yeah, so even if and like that's a thing too with recipes. Because my jambalaya recipe calls for bell pepper. I still really don't like the taste of bell pepper, so I don't add it. Okay. Don't add the yeah. bell pepper. It's, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, not a big deal. So, uh, yeah, so I just don't do that. But, yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, chili is another really one that I love to do. And it's so funny. If my mother-in-law knows that I'm making chili because she lives next door, she's like, we have a chili? We have a cornbread? Yeah. <laughs> she gets so excited. Yeah. I'll take a serving, please. Thank you. And literally, it's it's my mom's, and I don't know where she got it, but it's the five bean chili. So literally get five cans of beans, whatever beans you want to get, a can of the diced uh, jalapenos, a can of the diced tomatoes, uh, the uh, ground meat of your choice. Like I said, I usually just do the uh, like 99% fat-free ground turkey. Boom. Put it in there. Dump it in. Let it cook all day. All done. All done. That's, oh. I love that about the, the the crock pot. It's all done. So easy. Yes, all done. All done. Oh, yeah. Hey. I know. Do you have any more, Maggie? Or I think, or we, we I, think I hit like all I... of my, I think I hit all of my top all of favorites. Ones. But <laughs> that book, that cookbook you recommended is a good option too. If you're oh, looking for ideas. But, and Pinterest, y'all. I mean, you can get so many ideas from there. And I'm one of those things. It's like crock pot. I feel like, especially the crock pot, it's like impossible to go wrong. Like, I've never yeah. tried a crock pot recipe that I hated. Like, it's just something about it. I feel magic. like your mic got further away from your face. Oh. There um, as I was, <laughs> as so I was mentioning, <laughs> I feel like with the crock pot, you just can't go wrong. Like, I've never. Yeah. And the, the biggest thing with the air fryer is, like, don't burn your stuff. <laughs> Otherwise, oh it's pretty gosh. foolproof. Yeah. I know. Just kind of keep an eye on it. But I do love the air fryer. Like I said, it's super easy for my teenagers to use instead of having to use the oven. So I love that. Yeah. It's really, really easy for them to do that kind of stuff in there. So, all right. So goals and recommendations. Um, it's kind of funny. I don't know if, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll recommend something. <laughs> it's like, usually I have these all pre-written down and my brain just went totally blank. So mm -hmm. um, goal for this week. I am going to wash, rinse, and repeat this week. So remember, last week I was working on my weekdays, Monday through Friday, fearlessly tracking breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And I'm doing really good, so I want to keep that up. Even if I – I, I want to keep my, my streak going, too, because, you know, on the app now, as long as you track one thing within a day, it's going to still have the streak going. So over the weekend, I want to still make sure I track something, even if I don't track everything. But that's my goal again this week. So now – Full solid Monday through Friday. I want to make sure I'm tracking everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Awesome. That's where I'm going. And then uh, recommendation. Uh, you know what, guys? Try something you've never had before. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm going to recommend this week. Maybe you've never had a mushroom before. Maybe you had mushrooms 15 years ago and you hated them. Try them now. I mean, obviously, if you're allergic to them, let's just not, yeah. let's not <laughs> open that box. Right. But try something new. Maybe, like Maggie was saying, like, I I used to hate asparagus. I found really awesome ways to make asparagus. I found this great way to do, like, the little smashed um, Brussels sprouts. Love that. Can you, like, And you can do those in the air fryer. Like, when you kind of, like, cook them and, like, smash them and then do little Parmesan cheese and then, like, mm. like roast them a little bit. Try something new 
And you know what? Use one of your gadgets. I love me some kitchen gadgets. Let's use a kitchen gadget. Use a gadget. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So the week this episode goes up, May 10th, I will be competing in a competition <gasps> with a teammate named Pora, and um, that'll be Saturday the 13th. So Yay. our my goal is to crush it <laughs> um, and to do my absolute best. And Yay. then my recommendation to go along with today's topic, um, I've been working on this cookbook. It's called cook once eat all week and be oh, and by yeah. i've been working on it i mean like i've been using it not that i've been writing it i didn't want to yeah. be confusing so it's cassie joy garcia which i re i recommended her white chicken chili and mm -hmm. this is a really cool book because it does utilize crock pot instant pot um but what it helps with is like breaking down the process of meal planning and meal prepping so each week, it's 26 weeks worth of recipes, um, three recipes per week, and she'll pick one protein, one vegetable, one starch to focus on for that week and create three cool. different recipes around that uh, those three ingredients. So um, she talks through your ingredient list. She talks through um, how to prep the food so you can spend a whole day. Or, or and by a whole day, I mean like an hour, prepping the ingredients that you, you then use in the recipes throughout the week. So she just really breaks down the process that we've talked about before, just how to make yeah. it um, easier. It's just a one-stop shop. So highly recommend this book. I got it off of Amazon. But again, not I a necessary requirement. Me too. Me too. It's so easy. You know what? Okay, easy, just because it's beautiful. kind of on the same uh you know food ish i saw something on tiktok the other day and i told my husband i think we're gonna do this because we tend to get paper plates and they take up a ton of space and they can be kind of expensive and this girl on tiktok she was like no 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 you get those little like you can get them on amazon those little plastic baskets that like you can get at restaurants when they give you your french fries and those like uh kind of parchment paper sheets Boom, bada bing. Kids made nuggies, put them in the little basket. Made some french fries, put them in the basket. Made them a sandwich, put them in the basket. They're not getting down the heavy plates. They're not utilizing the paper plates. It's less trash. It's just so much easier to clean up. You got like 12 of the baskets and like 100 or 200 of the papers for like 10 bucks or something. And I was like, shut up, really? Send me like, that TikTok. Lives... I know. My mother in law lives next door. And I was like, woo. I think I need to get that. Oh, and Maggie, remember the one I sent you the other day about the uh, like refill? Okay, yeah. guys, there is this thing and it's intended for toddlers and infants. And I'm like, I want that. Mm -hmm. And this lady had this like kind of gadget where you she essentially made her own yogurt pouches, like the kind of go gurts. Mm -hmm. She made her own. Sure, it was for a toddler, but I'm like, yo, I want to make my own. Go <laughs> yeah, you can use it. Definitely looks fun. Any yogurt you wanted. I even told my husband, I was like, yeah, we could blend down some of our favorite fruits and like put them in the freezer and make them almost little slushies in the summertime. I was like, that does mm -hmm. not have to be just for toddlers. I found that on Amazon the other day too. And I told my husband, I said, I think we're going to get this too. He was yes. like, another gadget, another one. Another yes, absolutely. one. I love kitchen why gadgets. Not? Mm -hmm. Why not? If mm -hmm. they're going to make things fun. I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo. All right. So. All right. Fun food stuff. If anybody has one they'd like to share, put it on our Instagram because, you know, we'll always have a teaser clip of that if you guys want to start a conversation or if you're making cool stuff at home and you want to hashtag us, tag us in things so we can see the kind of fun stuff you're making at home. Awesome. We love to share uh, what we're trying, what we're liking, what's working because, you know, we are a community of like-minded individuals and we love to see what everybody else is doing. So, mm -hmm. all right, Maggie, what is our quote for this week? Our quote for today is the only thing I like better than talking about food is eating. Which sounds good because I'm going to get dinner ready. Woo. I know. I know. Woo -wee. It's getting close Hungry. to time. I know. So I'm telling you, whenever we talk about food, we can get so excited about it. It's just fun. Food should be fun. Regardless mm -hmm. if you're on a weight loss journey, regardless if you're on a wellness health journey, food should be fun. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm, that's the last time I'm going to say that. So it is time for me to say the other thing, though. Thanks for <laughs> dropping by. Have a magical day. Bye.